Международная боксерская ассоциация, ее президент Умар Назарович Кремлев, генеральный партнер IBA «Газпром», промоторские компании «Динамо Боксинг» и «Айрон энд Главс Промоушенс» при масштабной поддержке правительства Республики Башкортостан представляют вашему вниманию главный бой вечера. Десятираундовый поединок за титул чемпиона мира IBA в весовой категории до 60 килограммов. И сейчас, дамы и господа, прошу приветствуйте официальный гимн Международной боксерской ассоциации IBA. Дамы и господа, для участников титульного поединка звучат национальные гимны их стран. И первым звучит гимн Филиппин. Дамы и господа, звучит государственный гимн Российской Федерации.
Итак, дамы и господа, нас ожидают 10 раундов бокса за титул чемпиона мира IBA в весовой категории до 60 килограммов. Представляю соперников и первым боксера в черном углу ринга. Ему 30 лет. Его рост 168 сантиметров. На весах он показал 59,8 килограмма. Он представляет Кагаян де Оро Филиппины. Его рекорд насчитывает 35 побед. Только одно поражение. 24 победы нокаутом. Чемпион IBF Asia в легком весе. Чемпион IBF и WBO Intercontinental во втором легчайшем весе. Альберт Принц Пагара! Его сопернику в золотом углу ринга 26 лет. Его рост 169 сантиметров, а вес 59,9 килограмма. Он представляет Нижневартовск, Россия. Четырехкратный чемпион России. Олимпийский чемпион Токио. Незнающий поражений с рекордом 11 боев. 11 побед, 8 из них нокаутом. Временный чемпион мира по версии WBA во втором полулегком весе. Действующий чемпион мира IBA. Гордость российского бокса. Альберт Альба Батыргазиев. Рефери поединка Сергей Журкин, Россия. Хедап, но лобло, но холдинг. Листы на фоллоу мой клуб. Good luck. Touch of gloves between the two. And with Banagaziev. Boxing out of that gold corner. Now the Pagara of the Philippines. Giving away four years in age. Look at Adi Gaziev, and 26 years old with all that amateur experience behind him, and now in his 12th professional fight and the progress he's made, everything looks like it's being timed very, very nicely. And it'll be good to see a big performance from him tonight. This for his Iber World 60 kilo title. So there's 130. Two pounds rather than the 130 pounds of super featherweight. Bradley Gaziev in the dark green, black and gold Pagara in the luminous green. Just chipping away with the jab there, Bad Gaziev goes up and down with it. He's got a long, long reach on him. Wide shoulders. Pretty wide stance. He's got that nice balance. Steal that left hand into the body there. It was a really good performance against John O'Carroll. As I say, he touched down with the glove and it should have been called a knockdown in the early rounds. He was caught with a right hook high on the head and Carroll went after him from the start, actually. He said during the week that, yes, OK, fine, he was a very, very good amateur, but that didn't mean that he would make a good pro. He was going to drag him in deep and see if he could swim. And as it turned out, he very much could. But I think it was the right thing for Carroll to try and do. And he gave it every shot, really. But Badagaziev was up to the challenge. Pagara not offering too much early on here.
to the body there from Badiga Ziyev. Nice variation. Pagara just tucking up in that opening round and just having a look, really, more than anything else. That was straightforward for Badiga Ziyev. He's put that opener in his pocket without any problems. Ayun ang malupito. Ayan. Salamat po sa top donor natin, guys. Please follow Elson Estrada Guarin. Shout out sa 14,000 viewers, mga boss. Ayan. Sa mga gusto pong maging top at latest donor, send nyo lang sa ating chicas, guys. Ha? The shoulder move his head because he's not really looking at where the punches are coming from there. And Padigaziyab is one of these fighters who has got a long, long reach. The punches travel further than you probably think they're going to. going to pull onto the back foot particularly up against the ropes where you're trapped feeling like you can ride shots you might find that you can't <laughs> Not quite in range just yet, Badagazi up in this round. Pagara, let's go with a, a right hand. Just holding out that left hand to try and keep Badagazi up at bay just to block his vision slightly. Badagazi goes to the body and then just tries to cool that left hand in round the back there just turn the fist over turn the knuckles over Pagara out of range there he's staying on the borderline at best Badagazia working to the body. He's not done anything at all yet, Albert Pagara, really. It is early, of course. Steps in and looks to let a one two go there. I do wonder how ambitious he's going to be here, though, if I'm honest. Not putting too much on these punches by the Gazi, I'm just working those hands, moving those hands. He knows that there's not much coming back here from Pagara, who might just come back with the, the odd flurry. I think this may be what we see here when you've got an opponent who is looking to kind of tuck up really, not give an awful lot away and then mount the, the odd attack. In other words, not be particularly ambitious. This is kind of what you get. He, he will throw the odd flurry because he wants to try and keep Badagazia with something to think about and maintain almost the illusion that he's trying to win. But in reality, that is not necessarily the case. It might seem early for me to make that kind of judgment, but that's what this looks like. That 
could work that left hand, I think. The way he slung it in and turned the knuckles over. So into the third. Just dipping his knees there, Badagazia, working down to the body. And he's using that reach, keeping this at distance. Good left hand there. Dagara steps in and throws the one two. Again, just switching up there, Badagaziev. And this is what he's doing so far. You can see he's not putting loads into these punches. He's just letting his hands go. And again, he's looking for that left hand in round the back there. He's slinging it in, kind of lassoing it in, trying to find a gap around the back of that right glove to connect with the knuckles. Stop! Time. Please. Is the shoelace undone? I think that could be the problem. He was just blinking his eye at touch there, Pagara, as well. Box. Nice solid one, two there from Badagaziev, and that's backed him up, Pagara, I think. Felt that one, unless he's just trying to sucker him into the corner, into the final minute of round three. He's trying to keep that guard high. The Filipino, left to the body from Badagaziev. Manages to find his way out of the corner eventually there, Pagara. And I think what we have here is what we had in the previous fight, and I suspected we might, which is a big difference in levels between these two fighters. Pagara, I think, will stick to his task in the way that Leon the Half did to an extent, slightly different stylistically, but just as Gadjimagomedov was a lot better than Leon Half, Albert Badagaziev, I think it's quite apparent, is a lot better than Albert Pagara. Shout out guys, uh, 16,000 viewers almost. Huh? And salamat po sa inyong panonood mga boss. Sa gustong sumuporta sa ating live mga boss, send nyo lang sa ating chikas guys. Yung support nyo po sa ating live. Huh? Salamat salamat po mga boss. You know, round 4 na. Sinasayawa na. Box. 
into the fourth for Badgaziev again just stepping in there and looking to let those hands go Pagara a little bit bolder there comes forward and tries to throw that right hand and the first three rounds have gone by and he's three rounds down Pagara and he'll be aware that he needs to do something I think there's been a clash of heads there is there been a cut on the forehead there of Pagara he's dabbing at the forehead I don't think the is necessarily it could be hard for fighters to tell because you have a clash of heads and you feel that bit of warmth whether it's just the the blood coming to the surface of a slight bruise or it's an actual cut and it's difficult to know what it is so that's often why you'll see a fighter dab with the glove and then look at the glove just to check but there again just nice economy from Badagatiev goes up to the head then goes down to the body and he sinks that head in between those big shoulders and makes himself quite a difficult target to find. And he'll know that he's probably booking in for a long job here because, well, Pagara just shaking up that left hand. Maybe there's a slight problem with that left arm now. And again, he's just been tattooed there by Vadikaziev who is going through the protest here and trying to break his man down. If you're up against somebody who is looking to not give too much away and is more defensively minded, then what it means is they'll be braced for most of what you throw. And if a pro fighter is braced for punches, then they can generally take them and survive them. And that's why the, the variety of angle, of punch, of weight of punches really important here for Badagaziev because he's got to try and hit Pagara with something that he's not really ready for so he has to dress it up in a way that he doesn't quite see it coming or it crashes through with a bit more power than he's really expecting again he just shakes out that lead hand there Pagara I think there is something wrong or it could be that he's laying the foundations for a uh, for a retirement again that might sound like a harsh thing to say but he is getting worked over good job smile there from Pagara Touch of gloves between the two. Badagaziev doing what he needs to do here. And he's looking good doing it. Группа компании Садовое кольцо, федеральный девелопер, который Seconds out. Well, this is the problem that we spoke about previously with that lead arm, with that left arm. And I did say that he'd been shaking it out, that there was an issue. And I did also say that possibly he was laying the foundation for a corner retirement and that is what has happened. I'm not saying that the injury isn't genuine. I would not accuse a fighter of that, but he was up against it in there. It was only heading one way and if there was also 
a problem with the left arm there, then rather than just top this out for round upon round when you've only got one arm in operation and you're up against somebody who's quite simply a lot better than you, then the wise thing to do is to is to pull out, which is what has happened. And Badagaziev gets a very straight forward win. Conversation between a pair of them, always respect between fighters. He was supposed to fight Nicholas Walters, so Pekara came in at relatively short notice, so he needs to be thanked for taking the step up and making sure that Banagaziev was still able to box tonight. And when you looked at their respective records, you knew that there was a big difference between the two of them. And that has turned out to be a very straightforward outing for Albert Badagaziev, who retains his Iber world title at 60 kilos. Поединок остановлен ввиду отказа боксера из черного угла от продолжения боя. Таким образом, техническим нокаутом в пятом раунде победу одержал и остается чемпионом мира IBA Альберт Альба Батыр Газиев Россия. So, Badagaziev retains that title, he won against Lazaro Alvarez. And he's done it in decent style. And as announced by the MC, that's Mark Petrosky in the background there.